This is a instrument to take the etheric forces, the etheric formative forces, bring them into a crystal, no, dem no different than light, and start the process of amplification of that energy with breath. <clears throat> no breath, stream of energy flowing out, and you see how the body, physical body, starts to react to it. It will sway, it will shift, because it's trying to adapt to that field. When the charge has gone from here and has saturated her body or his body, then that body becomes transparent and moves through, and I can feel with my left hand the charge. Then I start sensing when it is at a saturation level by moving up and down, up and down. I'm making and breaking the etheric body, amplifying that field now. As I do that, I synchronize my breath with the patients. So we become one in breath, one in etheric body, one in all of the subtle bodies. There's a total synchronization of being. Then starts the next phase when I go <coughs> in this direction. I start linking through the consciousness of the patient to that area which needs to be balanced or corrected. They direct this path of energy like a tube, a fiber optic tube, till they illuminate through this energy coming out that area and it becomes imageable and visible like it did to you. There's an area that was blanked out, it suddenly you could see again. Now, I then must ground myself. My feet have to be solid. I must take on that entire experience. I must be one with you without fear. I draw that in with breath. It comes in, I let it out. Draw it again and again until that pattern is in space. I'm drawing it carefully and slowly out of your body, bring it into space, then I amplify the field, draw my breath in, and then break. I got it. <laughs> I got you. And that I got you <clears throat> is the breaking apart of that pattern which is locked into your whole body. <clears throat> And it's broken up <clears throat> into small particles, vesicles, whatever you want to call them. When it works, as you have seen, there will be an abrupt change in the physical body. It will let go. You must be supportive. You must have one hand here, my other hand is here, and I'm guiding, watching, and supporting, but not interfering. I must wait until the body is ready to come up, then gently I said rise, and then start the process of healing, closing the wounds. Because you've opened a big tunnel in the energy body, <clears throat> and I close with an up and down motion. I am suturing the subtle wounds that have been created. No more different than a medical doctor will, when he makes an incision, he will suture the tissue back so it heals and recovers. The up and down motion now, and then I will do this. I usually go over the area, steady, I feel, come back. Then the big motion is linking all of the chakras so they become functioning, then I bring the circle down to the witness area, small point, hold, draw my breath, and it's done. The four-sided, the six, the eight. Not right now. The four-sided, basically the general purpose tool. For the majority of the cases, 
for practically all of the years that I've worked, I deal with the four-sided crystal. You saw me work with both the four and the six. This afternoon, I'll work with the eight. The energy level goes up for each of the crystals.